Cast, certified most accurate since 2004. And that's very true. If you do want to go out and see the auroras, I noticed this last night myself after I got off of work, you really have to use that phone camera and point it up there to actually see the glittering colors that just kind of, I would say, kind of sort of pollute our atmosphere a little bit more because again, it is not necessarily something that's good, but we do definitely get to reap the benefits of these beautiful light shows. You'll notice once again, the visible visibility line is pushing farther and farther to the south. So pretty much the entire state of Ohio is in that zone where we could potentially see the northern lights once again this evening. Now it will all depend on how clear these clouds will get because of course that has been the bigger battle today. As we go deeper and deeper into the overnight, we will likely see the index that we measure these geomagnetic storms continuing to increase. In fact, it's more likely that as we get to that five to eight o'clock window, we're actually getting closer to that category nine essentially, which is where we were last night. It's why they looked so vibrant. It's why it was so beautiful here across the area. Once the clouds clear, do make sure you try and look to the north. I do think once we get into the next couple of hours, we're going to start to see that index continuing to climb. A seven would certainly be enough for us to see it close to the horizon. But the more we get to those eights and nines, the more vibrant the light show is going to be because you're starting to see the auroras sink just a little farther to the south. I was just looking at that latest data and it does look like we do have that potential. We're already starting to enter into that zone that once things clear out, we may actually be able to see it. So we do have our Parma tower camera pointed up to the north. Once again, we were able to capture this last night, but you can certainly see what our battle is going to be the next couple of hours clearing out some of that high cloud cover. Once it clears, definitely make sure you have an opportunity to get outside and try and see the northern lights. Otherwise, for the rest of tonight, the few showers that are out there will slowly start to clear out of here, as well as some of those clouds. Temperatures, though, they're going to be at 40s to near 50 degrees, so very similar chill in the air once again that we experienced this morning again for your Mother's Day morning. But just a couple spot showers early. I really don't think rain's going to be a huge issue for us headed into tomorrow, and we're actually going to be working on bringing back a bit more of that sunshine and temperatures warming into the mid 60s. So that is the big thing that we're going to be enjoying for your Mother's Day. As for now, though, this you and I drew this line just so you could see where that cloud cover is. It's really starting to work its way off to the east. So parts of northwestern Ohio, already starting to see some of that clearing. It'll be interesting to see if folks in the Toledo area are able to see some of these northern lights already. And if they can, that gives us a better forecast here as we go into the next couple of hours. But this is the system that brought us the rain, brought us that isolated severe storm earlier today. It is slowly going to work its way up towards the north and eventually clear out of here to give us these a nicer end to the weekend, we'll call it, especially as we go through your Mother's Day. Temperatures outside right now, 40s to 50s across the board. Most of the rain down to the south that we do have a couple of these intermittent showers trying to work into the northwestern basin of Lake Erie. Overall, I don't anticipate this to be a huge issue for us tonight, but we will certainly watch that isolated rain risk. You'll notice your hour by hour forecast pretty much stays consistent. A lot of us are going to stay into the lower 50s and really not dropping into the 40s until we get into the overnight. Remember, if you are headed out this evening away from city lights, really going to be one of your better bets. It is going to look very faint to your eyes, but if we get a decent burst, it may become a bit more vibrant. You'll see it dancing in the sky above us, but remember those long exposure cameras, your camera on your cell phone really are one of the better ways to actually see the lights come to life. And once those clouds clear out, I think we will be good to go to try and see this, but West does look best at least as of right now. Transitioning into tomorrow for Mother's Day. If you've got plans to celebrate mom and it includes spending some time outside, you may want the sweater, the jacket first thing in the morning, but by the afternoon, really pleasant. Temperatures through lunchtime closer to about 60. I do think we will wrap up the afternoon mid 60s. Just a spot shower possible east of Cleveland. I really think the vast majority of us will stay pretty quiet, but again, it is something we will keep an eye on for tomorrow. And then we just have these ups and downs continuing with our weather pattern. We've got another system coming in on Monday. It's going to help boost that temperature to near 80. But as we go into Monday evening, it brings back more showers, the potential for a couple thunderstorms. We'll deal with that rain and rumble activity on your Tuesday slowly clearing by midweek, and then it does look like another system comes in end of the week headed into early this next weekend. Of course, we'll be all over it and watching all the new details. Meteorologist Andy Chillian, he will be back in tomorrow morning to give you the latest. And of course, our 19 news this morning weekday weather team will have you covered for all the ups and downs headed into next week.